Good morning guys, welcome to our homeschool routine video. Some of you guys expressed interest in what our routine looks like when we do homeschool, so this video is for you guys. My day usually starts earlier than the girls. I wake up, I try to wake up by 6.30 and hit the ground running. The very first thing that I do is get dressed. A lot of people stay in their pajamas to do homeschool, but not me, I get dressed. Nobody can start the day without their coffee. So once I have that done, I try and start some of my chores. I usually start most of my chores by doing laundry because I have laundry every single day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't start my day doing laundry. This is the time that I'll sit down, have my coffee, and read in the Bible. This is not an actual Bible, but it's more like stories from the Bible. And I love the way that it's laid out. I really love this book. Reading um, spiritual stuff first thing in the morning, whether it be a spiritual growth book or a Bible book, um, it really helps me to stay motivated to be a kind person during the day because it doesn't always come naturally to me, believe it or not. It takes time and energy and work on my part and this helps me a lot. This is also the time that I will go onto my phone and respond to comments on today's video. And I just realized that today we hit 40,000, 48,000 subscribers, which is a big deal. My one big, huge goal has always been 50,000 subscribers. And now that we're almost at 50,000 subscribers, I just can't even believe it. So thank you guys for 50,000 subscribers. One of my big things about homeschool is letting the girls sleep as long as they need to. Love homeschool for the fact that my kids are never grouchy. My kids are hardly ever grouchy. And it's because they get enough sleep. They can eat when they need to and they get enough sleep. Usually around 8, sometimes 8.30, the girls will wake up and come downstairs. One of the rules, about coming down on a homeschool day is that they have to be dressed and their hair has to be done and they have to have their bed made. My carrot. Put those on the table for the horses. The reason that I do those rules is because if we don't get dressed first thing in the morning and we do homeschool in our pajamas, it seems like it takes us forever. It seems like we can never get out of the house. And because we're exercising our horse five days a week, we have to get out of our house as soon as possible after homeschool is done. So we always get dressed. And I want to kind of maintain a routine. Okay. After the girls eat, it is chore time. I continue with the chores that I need to get done. Like... Um, more laundry and the girls alternate chores. Uh, we have a calendar here, so we're on this week right now. Um, uh, Sophie, Gabby does the living room and the shoes, and uh, Sophie does the kitchen and did the dishes, right? Yes, yeah, sorry. Some days the girls will get their own breakfast, which will consist of junk like Pop Tarts, but many days I make them eggs for breakfast because I really want them to start out. The day the right way um the next thing that i do in our morning is i get our whiteboard ready this thing is our life for homeschool so basically um i'll show you our homeschool first our homeschool room it's a little messy right now this is what it looks like when we first wake up in the morning uh we have our computer stations all of us and then this holds all of our work um yeah mess every day a mess you guys um, okay, so our whiteboard. So every single, oh, these are wrong. Um, every single day we start our homeschool with morning meeting. Uh, first we change the date so that everybody knows what the date is today. Um, our morning meeting we do in the living room together, but every single day we do Bible, we do spelling, we do um, read aloud. So I read to them. We're reading a book right now. Um, I'll show you guys that. And then at nighttime, the girls read for 30 minutes before bed and they also write in their gratitude journal. So these are things that happen every single day. This is how we start our day. We talk about things that are happening in society, things that are happening in our life. We review the calendar. We do a morning meeting. This over here 
is our calendar. It keeps us up to date. Sophie, I want you to come and get our calendar up to date. Yes, Usually she September. comes every day and she determines that it is September. Yesterday and, was 11. Yeah, so you need to get your, your pencil and you need to mark off 12. what day is today. 12. 12. 12. The girls are in the process of dyeing their hair, so that's why it looks like that. Um... So we're gonna go get started on that and then I'll run through how we organize the rest of our day and our independent work. Um, today, this week, we have a memory verse. What is it, Gabby? Nothing's impossible with God. Luke, Luke 137. 1 right, so we've been talking about that. We've been reading about it in our Bible. We've been discussing um, miracles. Um, Today, Gabby finished her book last night, so today she is going to be doing a book report. Um, we have different book report layouts for both of the kids. This is the one that Gabby is going to be using for the first term. So this is how she's going to lay out her book report. She's going to copy all these things down in her book report folder and work on this this morning during language. Uh, this is our map. I know I've showed you guys before. Um, this is where we've tracked so many of you guys, so many subscribers. We're gonna do something else again uh, with this map. We have lots of New Zealand friends, a lot more than just these many. With lots of friends in Australia, all over the world. Uh, you guys might be interested to know uh, that the most amount of people that watch us are in the USA. Isn't that crazy? And the biggest age group that watches us is like 18 to 24. And a 90% of you guys are all girls or women. Okay, so this is our morning meeting basket. It's a mess, it's always a mess. Um, this is the binder that I use. It has, whoops, it has all my stuff in it. It has our, um, has all our spelling words. It just has worksheets that we might do. It has, um, all the papers that I print out that we'll be doing for this week's lessons that I'll be handing out to the girls. It pretty much tells me everything that we're gonna be doing for that day. Um, these are the girls' workbooks. The, they work through this. One part is Bible, one part is spelling. It's divided into three. And one part is health. So um, this is the Bible that we're reading through right now. I just bought this one for this year. It, um, I love it, this is the Bible. Sometimes we look up when we read a story in this, we'll look up the, the reading in here and read it. This is the read aloud that we're reading, Will of the Woods, so good. So good right from the beginning. Um, we're also studying Shakespeare. We're studying maps. Um, uh, our, this is our social studies book. Um, right now we're still on evolution. We're about part way through. One thing I like about homeschool is that, I don't know if you guys remember when you were in school, but for me, nothing made sense. Nothing was chronological. So in grade three, we would study this, and then grade four, we would study something completely different, but it wasn't in a row. It didn't make sense. It never explained to me how everything happened chronologically. And yeah, we studied dates, but Dates are really hard for me, and it didn't make that much sense when I was young. It makes a lot more sense now that we're older, but we're, we are studying from year to year through world history, um, chronological. We also are studying the body and health, another Bible. Um, we also do flashcards at morning meeting, and yeah, that is pretty much what is it for this term. These are the things that we're studying at morning meeting for this term. These are the subjects that we study together, and we start out every day. <laughs> So you guys will see that the girls are playing with slime today. Um, I don't mind the girls keeping their hands busy and moving around a little while I read to them. So we start off our morning meeting while reading our Bible story and talking about Bible and we do our memory verse um, and then we jump into independent reading. So the first hour of our homeschool is me reading to them to get them um, relaxed and calm and ready for working. It is now 9.30, we've done all of our read alouds. Now we do spelling. Uh, Gabby is working on the sixth grade sight word list. Uh, Gabby learned spelling really easily. 
basically she will write out the words um, five times each every single day they both do this and then on Fridays they don't write them out on Fridays we do a quick little test um, sometimes Gabby will do a test like on Wednesday or on Thursday on because Thursday. she already knows her words and um, as soon as they know the words then we move on <laughs> So today in maps we learned last week in maps we learned about latitude and this week we're learning about uh, longitude and hemisphere and a prime meridian and we learned about the equator we should have wrote equator last time so the girls are writing out their definitions for all of those things we studied it we found a bunch of things on our map and next time we do geography and maps we're going to take these pages right here um, so this binder that I told you about is where I put all my um, lesson plans for like the next week or the next two yeah. weeks. So in maps, I have a couple weeks of lessons ahead of us. So we'll um, next week, they're actually going to take everything that they've learned in the last two weeks. They're going to look up latitude, this latitude and longitude degree. They're going to look up these and they're gonna fill in the places that they find. I always love learning about um, maps when I was young in geography. And then this is our um, lesson for the next week. But anyway, that's what we did in geography. So now we've finished our Bible, our spelling, our uh, read aloud. Um, these two things are at night. These things happen at night, at the end of the day. So then uh, we are going to go down and we still do this stuff, we still do together. All this stuff we do together. So yesterday we did um, health. So today we do maps. So I put a mark here, yesterday we did health. Today we'll do maps together. Um, tomorrow we'll do Shakespeare together and the next day we'll do evolution. Actually these are in reverse. Um, so today we'll do maps. Um, tomorrow will be social studies, which is what we're, we're in the process of evolution. We're talking about first men right now. Um, and then the next day we'll be studying Shakespeare. And then on Friday we will be doing whatever craft we have. But Fridays, um, I leave open at this time frame because um, this Friday we'll actually be getting ready for a show instead of doing our craft which um, is really exciting. So every day we come in and we mark off what day what thing that we've done. So today we're just getting ready to study our maps and I put a mark so tomorrow when we come in I'll know that we're on evolution and we'll do that. Um, so then after we're done our all of our work together we move on to our independent work and every day it's every day they have math every single day four days a week on day five they don't do independent work at all we spend a lot of time doing our craft and soon we'll be joining the gym and we'll be going to the gym at this time so um every day for four days they do math and then um, they do grammar one day, vocabulary the next day, reading comprehension the next day, and then writing the next day. So today is a vocabulary day. So the girls know that they need to do their math and their vocabulary. We'll go through it together and then they're independently, they finish it. Um, about certain days, like today Gabby finished her book. So she's going to be doing a book report. Um, this is her outline for her book report. She'll be putting in her... Um, in her book report folder. Uh, so she will not be doing vocabulary. She'll be doing this instead. So she is getting out her books. Um, and then Sophie's books are held in here. She keeps her math on top because she knows she's gonna be using it. And then she has vocabulary. When the girls are doing their independent work, I often come into the um, into our homeschool room, I'm able to work on further lesson plans, print out things that I need to print out. I have my printer here hooked up to my computer so that I can print out worksheets that I need. Um, one good thing about homeschool is that you can get any worksheet for any subject and I can print 15 different worksheets for one subject if the girls are not understanding what I need. I can find anything that I need to teach any subject that, uh, that they're learning. I try and come in here when they're doing independent work because then uh, they seem to work faster and they uh, um, get a lot more done without asking me for help. 
For example, in religion, we are working about, we are talking about miracles and how everything is possible with God, which is our memory verse this week. So now I'm going to stop what we're learning and we're going to stop reading our Bible and we're going to take the opportunity to um, do this lap book, which the girls like to do. And basically it's about several of um, miracles that Jesus performed. Um, so we will read these and I will print out the lap book and we will take the rest of the week to um, work on this amazing lap book. Uh, so Gabby is about to start her very first book report of the year. This is Gabby's independent reading journal, so she'll write the name of the book and the day she finished it. Uh, this is the book that she just finished, right? It took her a few days to read this book. She is a very fast reader. Okay, do you like reading? Um, kind of. She reading. loves to read, but she doesn't like to take the time to read because she could be playing Star Stable, right? No, and the new trackners came out. There's three new trackners. Did you look and see what yeah. today's update was? I told you not yes. to do that. Black. Okay, enough with the star stable. Okay, so she is writing down this and then um, we will start on her book report. So she's doing that for language and she's still no, working no on review thing. for math. There's Sophie is deciding to work on math right now because this is when they- Ow, 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 don't touch it. This is when they do their independent work. Stuff that I'm not involved in and she's still working well, you're involved in on graphing and she's working on these pictographs right now. I also will take a few minutes while the girls are finishing their independent work uh, to answer more comments or just kind of relax a little while the girls are um, doing their stuff, but usually relaxing doesn't happen. Anyway, um, homeschool is done. It's almost noon. Girls are done. The very first thing that they do is run to their phones because look they're it. like, look I it. need it's a rest. Day. Okay, look it. I want that one. Okay, so it's update day Wednesday on, horse, on Star Stable. So, <laughs> yeah. And the new updated sheep but there will be no time for computers i will put my morning basket away for today and the girls will pick up all their books all the stuff that they have been messing around with while we've been learning right now and we will have lunch and then we will head to the barn that is our day that is our homeschool day everything that we do for homeschool is done until we meet tomorrow morning again for morning meeting i love it i'm inspired to do um, um homeschool because every day while we're learning i think of something else that i want to teach them and that i want them to learn we do follow a specific curriculum not necessarily the exact one that the schools learn. Um, like we might do pioneers in grade four and they might do it in grade three. Um, but we do try to follow a standard curriculum so that they're kind of in the same boat as their peers. But yeah, that is it in a nutshell. Homeschool, if you want to know any more information, have any questions, comment below. Um, if you have any suggestions or any um Thing you guys want to share with me that will help us in homeschool feel free to do that too and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys